in my second year i got an internship at qualcomm many go internship mm-hmm. e for three years. then i got an internship at apple which was six month long now i got a pto from qualcomm and i had been working at qualcomm then Hi everyone welcome back to coding ninjas i'm kabir singh and we are again here with another episode so i have tanuja with me today and uh, she has been a part of a lot of good companies okay so again let's see how she from a person who did not know coding to a person who became an intern at a lot of good companies how did she go forward theek hai to dekhte hain yaar ki kaise inka experience raha kaise inhone coding seekhi same goes for everybody to dekhte hain kaisa inka experience tha so hi tanuja welcome to coding ninjas hi kabir thank you for inviting me I'm really glad to be a part of this discussion and share my experiences and learnings. Thank you so much for coming, Tanuja. So, uh, Tanuja, start करने से पहले ना आप एक छोटा सा introduction दे दो अगर अपने आप का, so that everybody who is watching knows कि who you are right now and what what do you actually do. So, एक छोटा सा introduction चाहिए था आपका. Sure, Kavi. So, I recently graduated from Delhi Technological University, DTU, और मैंने 2022 में graduate किया. in computer science branch computer engineering mm-hmm. and uh, in my second year i got an internship at qualcomm many go internship mm-hmm. e for three years. then i uh, got an internship at apple which was six month long and okay. uh, now i got a pto from qualcomm and i had been working at qualcomm then as okay. a full time employee that's that's really nice to hear theek hai so yeah uh, getting a good internship like qualcomm in second year and then apple is a really really nice thing so ये सब मिलने के लिए जो कोडिंग चाहिए होती है क्या आपने वो पहले से सोचा हुआ था कि बिफोर योर कॉलेज डिड यू हैवर हैव दिस थॉट दैट यू वांट टू गो इन कंप्यूटर साइंस और इट वाज जस्ट अ सडन थिंग कि हाँ कंप्यूटर साइंस अच्छी फील्ड होती है तो सब लेते हैं मैं भी ले लेती हूँ सो वेल बिफोर एडमिशन इन इंजीनियरिंग आई वॉज वेरी वेरी फॉर फ्रॉम बिकॉज मैन इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में फिजिकल एजुकेशन मेजरली जो लोग कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग में जाते हैं वो कंप्यूटर साइंस लेते हैं या पाइथन लेते but i took physical education and i had no idea of coding before coming in college okay. but i knew the uh, technology has potential growth and it's the most growing sector is uh, computers so i always wanted to go in computer science but i did not have any idea about coding i did not have a very clear image of which branch i will be taking but mm-hmm. uh, i applied for counseling and counseling mein i got computer engineering in the first round which is also an advantage or जिसकी वजह से मैंने इंजीनियरिंग लिया आई वॉज नॉट वेरी इंक्लाइन टू वर्ड्स कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग और किसी दूसरी ब्रांचेस से कोई बायस नहीं था बट आई बिकॉज फर्स्ट आई गॉट इट एंड सेकेंड आई न्यू दैट it has growth and i will learn here and i can grow here that's obviously that that's great that's great theek hai so uh, aapko jab computer science engineering mil gaya and then you went to your college in the first year saying ki aapko bilkul bhi coding nahi aati thi so how did you actually get in touch with coding like how did you and coding go hand in hand the first time like you know i ask everybody when was the first time you wrote hello world you, because everybody remembers that for sure the people who you know succeed in coding they always remember ki ha ye ek moment tha jahan se maine coding shuru kari thi so for you what was that moment for you how did you actually just start the basics of coding so when i came in college in my first year it took a lot of time for me to change and to adapt mm-hmm. to the transition from school to college because my school was very 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 strict and dtu is very very chill and relaxed i was adapting to this environment college environment throughout my first mm-hmm. year and people had started preparing so wo ek motivation tha ki people were already participating in contests and they were already okay. already taking many courses and Even some people were on, also interning during their second semester. मुझे आइडिया लग गया था कि इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ फ्यूचर इन दिस ब्रांच और इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू अ गुड कंपनी डी एस ए इज मस्ट एंड माई सीनियर देव ऑल्सो गाइडेड मी की डी एस ए इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू शुड स्टार्ट अर्ली एंड दैट विल ब्रिंग यू एन एडवांटेज आई स्टिल डेड नॉट स्टार्ट बिकॉज जब हम शुरू में स्टार्ट करते हैं इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड आई फेल सो मच डिफिकल्टीज इन स्टार्टिंग एंड एट द वेरी इनिशियल स्टेज यू फील अलॉट ऑफ फ्रस्टेशन बिकॉज समटाइम्स क्वेश्चन नहीं होते सम डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी टफ टू अंडरस्टैंड एट द स्टार्ट इन द फर्स्ट ईयर आई वॉज नॉट वेरी focused or mm-hmm. very determined about coding and okay. i majorly started coding in my second year so in first year we had a subject in our uh, college which is c programming so that is when mm-hmm. i started and i made my first uh, program the hello world program in c right. and the major programming and the coding learnings which i started was in second year so first year okay. i was 
working on my cgpa and my main motive throughout the college throughout these four years was to maintain a good cgpa whatever i do mm-hmm. irrespective of the fun the activities which i am doing extra curriculum i should have a good cgpa that was my main motive apart from coding so in my first year i was learning all the branches is sub branches ki padhai hoti hai and i was adapting but i was not very focused on coding Okay, so that's great. So basically, we know that the first time you started coding was first year. उसके बाद आपने second year में actually एक preparation शुरू करी थी, right? And the best part is that first year में at least you were you know motivated enough that yes, preparation भी करना है and CGPA भी maintain करना है. तो second year में जब आपने coding शुरू करी थी, जब actually एक preparation के लिए शुरू किया था, तो did you started with the course or did you started with the just free videos or something? How did you start your main preparation so in my second year i started watching people in blue shirts near the tnp department and that is when the hype was created we mm-hmm. have to get an intern in our after our second year and then we have to get placed before our fourth year tab in the second year i took a course so initially i started with self study only search through a lot of online content now online content mm-hmm. can be a it can also be a bane because mm-hmm. online content itna zyada hai ki i was always confused about the most exhaustive set of questions that i should write right. for a particular topic almost i was always confused because i lacked a good road map i mm-hmm. lacked a structured kind of uh, course or a plan to execute that before my internship starts i also got lazy during time so okay kabhi kabhi i felt demotivated to main padhai nahi karti thi जिसके वजह से भी एक लर्निंग बहुत पॉस्पॉन्ड हो रही थी आई सेल्फ स्टडी फॉर ऑलमोस्ट द कम्प्लीट थर्ड सेमेस्टर बिकॉज आई न्यू की सिर्फ एक सेमेस्टर बाकी है एंड द कंपनीज विल स्टार्ट कमिंग ऑन कैंपस सो आई टू केन माइन कोर्स फ्रॉम कोडिंग इंजर्स विच वॉज सी प्लस प्लस डी एस ए कोर्स उस टाइम पे इट्स कॉल्ड एज इंसेप्शन सो दैट कोर्स वॉज वेरी पॉपुलर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन यूज टू टेक दैट कोर्स एंड माई सीनियर्स रिकमेंडेड कोडिंग इंजर्स सो आई टूक दैट इंसेप्शन एंड दैट वॉज वेन आई started learning coding in a proper structured way and the course was really helpful for me to understand my basics and also to practice the most important frequently asked questions in any interview or good mncs so basically aapne coding just ka course liya and then you started preparing बट एवरीबडी हैज अ रोड मैप सब लोग एक रोड मैप लेके चलते हैं कि हां मेरे को इतने महीने में इतना सीखना है दिस इज माय टाइमलाइन और उस टाइमलाइन में मेरे को इतना काम खत्म करना है सो व्हाट वाज योर रोड मैप एंड व्हाट वाज योर वे ऑफ लर्निंग कि हां इतना मेरा टारगेट है कि इतने टाइम में मेरे को ये सब खत्म करना है तो हाउ वाज योर रोड मैप लाइक सो दैट द पीपल हु आर वाचिंग दिस कैन यू नो गेट एन आईडिया कि हां हम लोग भी ऐसा रोड मैप बनाएंगे तो वी कैन अचीव दैट टारगेट सो ये रोड मैप बनाने में मोस्ट ऑफ द इनपुट वाज फ्रॉम माय सीनियर्स एंड पीपल हु वर ऑलरेडी इंटर्निंग एंड प्लेस एट गुड कंपनीज Right. So my process was first I should practice DSA because it is the most important in the written mm-hmm. test and in interviews DSA is the most asked. I also did competitive programming but at very beginner level internship के time पे because mostly DSA पूछा जाता है कभी कभी कुछ बहुत high end companies में ही पूछा जाता है competitive programming. So okay. I first went with making my DSA strong, the basics strong, which I took around six months. So okay. third semester and in the beginning of fourth semester I was only practicing DSA. but then see okay. told must be good strong projects uh, mm-hmm. like machine learning projects or uh, web development projects in our cv right. because the first step of uh, getting into a company is resume shortlisting and you right. should have a very strong resume correct so in the fourth semester i joined a coding ninja course for web development because lockdown start ho gaya tha so i had a lot of mm-hmm. time at home online classes okay. chal rahi thi i went for the web development course at coding ninjas and then mm-hmm. i created cool projects two three cool projects and then i created also a machine learning project which i added it my resume so my process was first making your dsa strong then working on good projects the projects mm-hmm. should be very wholesome you should have built them because interview mein koi bhi questions puche ja sakte hain so you should be able to answer all the questions we should not copy the projects okay. agar if you have not made projects you can make some small projects that is mm-hmm. fine but you should be able to answer all the projects and you should know every algorithm and how the project works under yeah. the every line and of code used in that project should be known to you yeah content doesn't I matter on its resume quality matters so even if you Correct. have one two projects i had only two projects in my whole resume and mm-hmm. people had four five projects but it doesn't matter if you're not able to answer it during the interview then that is a negative point so yeah these two things are the most important and then also extra curriculum activities i was a part of some society and mm-hmm. i was able to mention it in my resume and i was able okay. to apply and my resume was shortlisted almost every company i also had a good cgpa 
in my second year. So mm-hmm. yeah, maintaining a good CGP and then uh, good projects and then BAC helps definitely. That's really nice. So after you, you know, completed your web development, after you were done with your data structures, you started applying for companies for internships. And when you apply for internships, I've seen, because see, at that time, it's like, the student who's applying for internships ke do hi target hota hai meri achhi internship lagni chahiye because two reasons one i want to earn while i'm in college second i want to have a good resume by the end of my college life so aap bhi jab companies mein apply kar rahe the to aapko kafi sare rejections face karne pade honge i guess the way everybody kafi sare nahi but at least ek ya do rejections which kind of demotivate people so did it happen with you also that you got rejected and got demotivated or you were able to deal with it and if yes how did you deal with it so initially during my internship period companies started coming and they were offering mm-hmm. very high stipend like lakhs of stipend companies came every single day the frequency was very high at the start mm-hmm. and there was a lot of competition it felt like a that race and it was very stressful at times i faced a lot of rejections i faced rejections every day after learning through these four years after facing so many rejections i feel that every rejection is a redirection right. and if you have a rejection you definitely learn from it i've faced so many rejections i've learned from every rejection mm-hmm. and a rejection doesn't mean that you're not good it just means Correct. that you do not suit the requirements of that company and if you work hard you can definitely crack your dream company for sure so you should you should just manifest your dreams and work towards it and then your dreams will come to i faced rejection but i kept that confidence in myself that a new company will come tomorrow <clears throat> a better company will come tomorrow or koi na koi company to le jayegi so right. with that confidence i used to get up every day give test apply to every company at the end after almost one month when the internship drive started i was able to crack 12 bomb but usse pehle bahut sari rejections aaye and when you see your classmates and your friends cracking internships and mm-hmm. getting placed that even increases your demotivation yeah. right makes you more stressed but the key in that period is to be relaxed because that stress will not lead to anything agar aap relaxed mm-hmm. hoge to work on more upcoming opportunities better stress there becomes wastage of time and you should keep preparing for it it is a very difficult stage for every student the internship drive and the placement drive because right. you face it for the first time and yeah the competition is very high especially in a college like dtu where everyone mm-hmm. is so competitive yeah you know because everyone uh, who i call up for this interview i asked them the same question and everybody says that yes we got rejected and it was really tough but you know you have to stay relaxed at that point of time So uh, coming to my next question after you got into Qualcomm you worked there for 3 months and uh, how was your experience being an intern in Qualcomm so before starting my intern i was very scared about how the internship will be i thought ki bahut zyada kaam hoga and bahut zyada logo se deal karna padega and the work mm-hmm. will be very difficult as compared to what the projects that you made they were very easy or will be working right. on real life problems so i was kind of scared but i went in the internship i got a mentor and the mentor helped me throughout every process so i was in the modem optimization team and mm-hmm. well logo like that it is a hardware company but it has software work the drivers have to be coded and that is software qualcom has a software as well as a hardware profile a software developers the hardware profile are in bangalore and i was in software profile so i was in hyderabad it was a very fun experience kyunki we are learning along with having fun and learning a lot we are lots of training so ek mahina it was almost trainings our mentor kept teaching us and helping us throughout and we were mm-hmm. learning a lot of insights about a company how a real company works in big and mini scale platforms and right. how the products are made for example snapdragon the latest os and how modem actually works so my work was majorly on scripting for multi threading so multi threading mm-hmm. was a topic which i had studied only theoretically in college and okay. when i went on with this internship i was able to see it working so my was xml sheets aati thi where i could see actually kaun se thread pe kaun sa process run kar raha hai and then how it mm-hmm. switches so right. i was able to see everything in real life happening and it was an amazing experience i learned a lot so i also worked on web development it was my first website that i built using django and it was an amazing learning experience okay so coming to the end of our uh, conversation i would like to ask you one thing that you being a person who never thought of going to computer science stream came to college started learning programming took a course started c++ then took a course started web development and then got into qualcomm what would you recommend to your juniors as you told your seniors were guiding you now you are the seniors of other students coming up in the college so like the entire uh, 
student community what would you recommend them on how they should prepare and from when they should start preparing so just a conclusion for the students ki un log kaise prepare karna chahiye ya wo log kaise taiyari karenge so it's good for them yeah my only advice would be to start early agar aap jaldi start karenge you'll be able to discover your interest you will have more time to prepare starting early helps also mm-hmm. a person should never be demotivated by rejection so software engineering is such ki aapko har din rejections milenge and you'll be demotivated at times that maybe you're not good and you'll blame yourself but right. uh, you should always have positive people around so having positive friends and positivity in your life that helps a lot for a fresher who is in college he or she should start from the very first year i think they should Correct. discover the language they are interested in and then work on uh, maybe different projects from the first mm-hmm. year that would help them to discover their interest and uh, get a better idea about the projects that they will be making before the internship drive starts and uh, of course they can get advices from their seniors or mm-hmm. uh, someone who is placed or interned or there's a lot of online content so they can Correct. search and in self study and if they feel they can go for any courses i always utilize the summer vacation so in colleges we have like very long summer vacation three or four months that they can use to develop a new skill in first year they can go with only dsa they should get basic knowledge about dsa and learn about all different data structures and right. if they still they can uh, practice online and give different contests on different there are so many sites like coachef etc and in the second year if they are interested they can go for different development so they can go for mm-hmm. web develop so i personally i love web development more than data structures in my second year because i've been creative since school so i like drawing and stuff so right. i always felt that web development helps to put my creativity in reality so they can also go with android development or other areas of development in their second year mm-hmm. before internship drive starts yeah so the only conclusion is to start early so that Correct. they have and time to discover and explore that's that's yeah. really nice so that was a really nice conversation with you tanuja and uh, i would be happy to come again on board and then you know have another interview with you so i hope you had fun too and i wish to see you again on our channel thank you so much for coming thank you kabir it was a great conversation thank you. all the thank best you so everyone much. who's watching yeah. thank you thank you so much hi there we hope you liked our video and found it useful we would also like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in the test you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course in coding ninjas made be dsa web development product companies interview preparation data science or any other course so click in the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test happy learning guys thank you so much